Hello friends, this is Saili Gulani and welcome you all in my channel. Today we will see the another software development model that is iterative model or we can say that it is a waterfall iterative model or SDLC iterative model. Up till now we saw the two development models in our previous videos. Now we will start with our topic. So software development life cycle SDLC is extremely vast and full of various development and testing activities, methodologies techniques, tools and more. It engages strong planning as well as management, computation, plan and preparations. After completing all the cycles and iterations as per the requirement, the application gets developed successfully. This model is also division of SDLC. So in this session, you will learn about this model in details in which we will focusing on what is waterfall iterative model, iterative model design, phases of iterative model, Graphical presentation of SDLC iterative model, scenarios where the iterative model can be used, application of the iterative model, advantages and disadvantages of iterative model. These all are the points we will covering under this topic. So let's start. Firstly, we have discussed the what is waterfall iterative model. Okay, so we are going to see the iterative model in details. But this is the whole diagram which represents the iterative model. This iterative model, we also call it as a SDLC iterative model or waterfall iterative model. Okay, so this is all are the phases which is done inside the iterative model. In which their first phase is of initialization. Okay, so whatever initialization phase is done, will directly give in to the planning phase. Means, in this iterative model, first the requirements will get collected from the customers. On the basis of that, it will get designed the application. Okay? So, after designing that application, it will get implemented. But after implementing, it will first verify. Means, the application will get verification at this stage. It will not directly deploy but after implementation it will first goes for the verification phase and after the verification of this stage it will move towards the evaluation means what are the pros and cons will come out if after this stage means here there will be some changes or maybe some feedback will come from the customer then it will get evaluated in this phase. After evaluation, again planning will be held in this planning phase. And after that planning phase, on the basis of planning, the requirement will get collected. Okay, so completion of this complete cycle, then the software will get deployed or application will get deployed here. Means, first of all, whatever the requirements are will get collected from the client. Or we can say that we are collecting from the users. Okay. So what are the requirements will get connected, collected from this client in requirement phase. On the basis of that design will be held. In design there is a coding of the software. Right. Or coding of the application will held. Okay. In evaluation there will be feedback evaluating which feedback coming from the customer right so all these are the happen in this evaluation stage after the proper planning will get here so all this process and phases we called it as SDLC iterative model or so now we'll see how iterative model works and what is mean by iterative model or SDLC iterative model. Okay. So the iterative model is a particular implementation of software development life cycle that focuses on initial simplified and implement which progressively gain more complexity and a broader feature to set until the final system is completed. Means it implementation of SDLC and focuses on following all these processes and finally got the final product or final 
cysteine okay so an iterative uh, life cycle model does not attempt to start with a full specification requirement means it does not start with the full specification means whenever the requirements are come from the client then it will just start with the uh, developing but they are not gathering all the specification requirements to start the process okay instead of development begins by specifying and implementing it is just a part of software which is then review to identify further requirement means they are not preparing the whole software but it is just a part of software which review to identify the further requirements okay so we take one example that is of ipod okay so it is of apple ipod right so when ipod comes in a market it will only play the mp3 player songs mp3 songs okay so it will comes in market after that they are checking and evaluating that something we need to add the features then they are again developing with the camera means again new product is launch okay so in each iteration there will be a new part of software will comes out okay so instead of developing beginning by specifying implementing just a part of software for the further requirements okay so this process is then repeated producing a new version of software at the end of each iteration of the model okay just i am saying that it uh, it is a new version of software at the each end means at the each iteration at the end of that iteration each new product or new version is comes out okay so basically the iterative development model is an approach of segmenting any large software development means any large software development process into the smaller portion means any large project will comes in market in the smaller portion with the smaller requirements okay means the iterative model gives the exact performance of the development right but it is a software as a life cycle so we can say that as a life cycle okay iterative method have been implemented in a wide range this iterative model we also called it as a iterative waterfall model and it also implemented in a wide range right so the iterative waterfall model provides feedback path from every phase from every phase which is the main difference between the classical waterfall model and this iterative waterfall model classical waterfall model means the waterfall model which we was saw in our previous videos and this is our iterative waterfall model so this is all the points which is related with the iterative model okay now program is easily measurable but isn't suitable for the small projects because we are going to see that each iteration given us a small project okay means there is a large large project and we will divide it into a small project so it is isn't suitable for the small projects okay so iterative model is also called it as a incremental model iterative models another name is incremental model in which particular project or software is broke down into large iterations okay means a big project is broke down into large number of iterations where each iteration is complete as a result a release of executable product or we can say that executable software means here product or software we can get where the project or software is broke down into a large iterations and each iteration as a result will be a release of executable product or 
software we can say that okay a subset of final product means this a subset subset means a small set from this final product okay under the development which grows from iteration to iteration means this iteration to iteration a subset of final product under the development which grows from iteration to iteration to become the final product as a software means it help us to make a final software okay which help us iterative model okay we can take some examples like prototyping rational unified processes agile development rapid application we are already saw the prototyping model right in next our videos we will going to see the agile developments and rapid application means rapid model so you will get more understand in that okay so these are the examples we will consider inside the iterative model as a incremental model we can say that right every iterative model release is developed in a particular established period and that particular period of time we called it as a iteration okay so which term we called it as a iteration and what uh, which process we called it as a iteration so iterative model releases what releases development in a particular an established period of time that we called it as a iteration okay moreover the iteration concentrate on a particular assemblage of specification particular assemblage of specification means it will be concentrate on a particular uh, part of the requirement which will be developed in a particular iteration okay every cycle finishes with a system which is used in a instant a specific iteration outcome in a implementable release means every cycle finishes with the requirement or finishes with the system and that will provide us a implementable release okay implementable release means whatever the outcome comes from the uh, feedback or we can say that evaluation it will get implemented as a product as a software and it will get release that particular we called it as a implementable release pretty model it enables to operating a previous stage in which the alterations are made means it is not providing to go in this previous stage because in which the alterations means the changes are continuously made okay in which in this iteration in the iterative model the ultimate outcome of this product is restored at the finish of the sdlc means the life cycle of software development we can say that here the life cycle of the software development okay means the ultimate output of the product is restored at the finishes of the sdlc model means the life cycle of the software development and usually it is the development in the iterative model that is it is utilized in connection with the accumulative development right so this is accumulative development which is held in which an extended cycle of the software development is divided into the shorter sections which created upon one another which created upon one another means here it will be ultimate connection with the accumulative development which is the uh, in which we can say that extended life cycle of the software development which will be held and in which it will we called it as a iterative model or we can say that it is a waterfall iterative model and another name is sdlc iterative model or as we just discussed we also called it as a incremental model incremental model means 
which is a project of software which broke down into the large number of iterations and each iteration is complete development as a resulting it will be a release of executable product as a software that's why we called it as a incremental model or iterative model as well okay so this is all are the points which is include inside the iterative model i hope you understand today's topic well and hope you guys enjoyed it a lot don't forget to like share and subscribe for this video thank you